Hello everyone, Pendragon here, and today we're going to be playing The Sims 4. But not normal Sims 4, we're going to be doing a special challenge edition. So basically what we're going to do is, uh, there's the Simmer, and I'll show the profile real quick. Uh, uh, community. And the name is Bimwoo. Whoops. Whoops. Can't type today. Ah. You're... There we go. All right. Well, let's see if I can find it. There is a challenge thing around here somewhere. Oh, wow. I'll look in my library. All right. So anyways, as you can see here is Bimu. And the, basically what the challenge is, is to, as you can read here, they have to have six kids in their lifetime, but the kids have to have straight A's and you can't use any cheats at all. Now, the deadline for it is uh, March 30th, 2015. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. And... So, I already downloaded these uh, Sims from the from the gallery, and I have them in a house right now. And we are gonna give it a shot and see how well we do. We're doing a challenge that I found on Bimwoo. It's a really weird name, but it's in the gallery, and we're just gonna do it for fun. I've been building on a building spree, and it's been nonstop building stuff. I think it's gonna be nice to actually do a challenge because. Playing The Sims is really boring, and all I can do is build. Um, I build rather nice anyway, so I'd rather just build rather than have to play The Sims because really there's no, there's nothing for them to do right now other than to get skill points. There's really no content in the game at the moment. There's the Outdoor Retreat Pack, which is like, okay, I learned herbalism. Okay, they can go camping. Okay, done. Um, and Get to Work doesn't even come out until April. And today's March 15th. So, of 2015, the year. Uh, so, as you can see, there's nothing going on. It's like, it's just very, it's like, oh, they go to work, they get skill points, they go to work, they get skill points, they go to work, they get skill points. It's brutal. It's just so fucking boring to play them. Okay, so. I am currently doing the same thing that Pendragon is I am selling. As much as I can, I'm going to be here temporarily so I can save some money. And then, but I just think it's kind of funny. So right now I'm kind of like just using like the pawn shop system where you just like grab things and you like delete it. And I call it a pawn shop, which is fine by me. <laughs> um, which, is, which is funny. Okay. Yeah, it's just, we just pawn everything. It's like, all right, they don't need that. So basically the way my house looks and Pendragon is, is wrapping, basically we're in the same house. But we're both on vent and he's filming. Um. And so basically, uh, because there's no time to constantly be cooking, and because we're only doing a challenge, we don't care that our sims don't have aspirations. Um, it's a challenge. We're going to stick to the challenge. We're not going to, you know, oh, give them makeovers and go do all this. No, it's a challenge. That It is what it is. So because it's a challenge, they're not, you know, whatever, anything else, um, and they don't really matter. We're trying to do this as economically as we can and basically I don't really understand like the lady said in her post or the man or whatever it is um, said that all you have to do is have six kids in their lifetime which means before they expire which means before they die oh you have to show your settings too and make sure that we're not cheating um, so basically I'm gonna go in here and make sure that under game options that I click gameplay and under gameplay that their lifespan and everything, that they're actually aging up, okay? Not okay, that right. aging has stopped. <laughs> yeah, because they have to die. They have to expire. We can't use any cheats. We can't just keep them alive for over and over and over because it said, the instructions said, and it read, in their lifetime, they have to have six kids. In their lifetime. So they have their whole lifetime, which doesn't mean if we're allowed to play it on long, normal, or short. But what I'm going to do is just leave it on normal. Uh, I'm not going to have it on long. I'm just going to leave it on normal. You know, if they die, they die. I don't care. Um, auto age plate sims. Yes, we want to age them. They need to age. Everybody needs to age. Auto age unplayed sims. Sure, let them all get old and gray and die. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to make sure that my that all of this is proper, that everything is working and functioning the way it needs to be functioning in my settings. I'm not using any mods because I don't use mods. 
Sorry. I know a lot of people use mods so they can put devil wings on their sims, but honestly, I'm not interested. So I'm not going to use a mod just because somebody wants better hair. It, it's a challenge. I really don't care what my sim's hair looks like. Maybe you do because it's a big deal to you and it'll break your heart if you don't have it that way. But for me, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so I do have a question about the challenge, though, and I should have asked a lady and or a man, um, and I didn't. And I should have asked if you could keep them alive and prevent them from aging if you wanted to or if not. But I'm just going to leave it standard because with most of these challenges, you're really not supposed to. You're supposed to just live out their life. And, of course, all the Sims 4 hippies, they'll tell you that. Oh, let them have a good life and live out their life because whatever. I like this game because of sandboxing purposes. And I like the building in it. It's far more advanced than Sims 2, 3, or whatever, or even original Sims. That was terrible. Um, so initially when Sims was released, the game was released, the original Sims, not 2 or 3 or whatever. Your first, first, first Sims original game, okay, the people were thrown in as an afterthought. And then people really liked playing the little people, and then they started elaborating and doing more and more and turning it into, you know, its little money-making machine for them or whatever. But initially, it was supposed to be base game, sandbox only, and then they kind of threw all the little simulated people in. And then now it's become, over the years and everything, it's become, you know, one of those things where the Sims can do anything. They can be like Barbie. They can be Ken. They can go anywhere, do anything, achieve anything, and that's all it is, basically. And so we're going to get started. The achievement was you have to have six kids. The kids have to have straight A's. It doesn't say straight A's in elementary school. It doesn't say straight A's by high school. But after high school, after teenagers, they go into adults and they're no longer in school. So basically, the only way to do this is we don't know if it's elementary or high school. Um, it's just as soon as they get an A, I'm just going to do it that way. As soon as they get an A, whether it's elementary school or high school, I'm going to count that child as done. And I'm going to label them as they're being born. I'm going to, you know, call them from 1 to 6 because basically they are a number and that will help me keep track of them. Rather than having, you know, uh, names for the actual kids, I think it's better just to, you know, put them by number so you know which one's like the oldest. You don't have to go back and look or try to remember any of that kind of crap. So, okay. Oh, that's pretty funny. I go and I did try for baby, and he's like, ha, yes! And he's all, like, fist pumping. <laughs> I don't really like the baby thing. I think the person that nerfed the babies in this game was a genius, and they didn't like kids. They were probably like me, where, you know, they may have one kid, but they find them ultimately annoying. So, um, I'm not... I have one child. Okay, I do. I'm not totally heartless or whatever. But it's, it's just that I don't... I'm not really into the baby. I'm sorry. Like, the, like, no. Just no. Like, you know, I make beautiful, beautiful things on this game. Okay? Legitimately beautiful things. Like, out of this world, mind-blowing, um, that other people can't possibly even compete with. So, the way I see it is, I treat this game as a sandbox game. Period. Okay, it's a sandbox game. I build on it. But every once in a while, just because sandboxing in this game can get a little boring sometimes... And you're trying to think of different themes and different layouts and different patterns and things to actually build and make. Um, and sometimes it can get a little boring. And so this kind of breaks it. And so after, like, building for, I don't know, a few months now, um, I'm taking a break. And I'm just kind of doing some of these challenges that the really nice people are putting up on the community just for fun. But I'm sticking to the challenge. I'm not doing anything extra. So if you want to see things like, um, I'm going to send my virtual people camping. You're not going to get that here because I'm not going to send them camping. I'm sorry. They're here. Basically, with this family, the woman's a breeder, and she's having six kids, and they have to get, you know, straight A's in school. And so that's, that's what it's about, not them going camping or outdoor retreat or anything ridiculous or, you know, them going on some ridiculous cruise or whatever that really doesn't matter to me. We're not doing Hawaii here. She's going to have babies, six of them. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bit of a head start on you. I've already started with the the breeding stuff. So after you do the try for baby, how long does it take before you actually start seeing something? I really don't know because I got a head start on you with the because I had started doing this challenge before I told you about it. But right. uh, I think they're like on child number three. And so basically I don't pay attention. I just know that she gets knocked up. And then like I think it's like a couple days or something like that. And then she ends up popping. 
And then if you have a bassinet, she'll run to the bassinet. But I think if you don't buy one, I think social services just provides you a free one because they're weird like that. I've never heard of social services giving people like free cribs and shit, but whatever. Um, so I think that's all you have to do. Like, oh, did you put the bets how I, yeah, I think you just have to wait for them to pop. Like, it's really weird. It's, I think they just explode, um, whenever they're going to have babies. I, I guess we could time it, just kind of keep track of what day of the week it was that you got her pregnant on and then see how long it takes for her to actually like explode. <laughs> all right. So again, um, kind of new to playing it. I haven't played, like played, played for a while. I've been doing some building. Um, so where the hell do you see the days of the week? Oh, never mind. I see it. There's another play and a pause button. So it's Sunday. All right. So I got to remember that. So you got her knocked up um, on a Sunday. So, yeah. So just try to remember, like, your days. I I just ignore it. I'm just like, whatever. When it pops the fuck out, I guess it's just going to pop out. Gotcha. Um, you need to get him a job. Like, you have That's to click on the thing. phone. Yeah, you have to get him a job because they're, like, useless. So, um, you're going to run out of cash if they don't actually start earning some cash, which is really annoying. Uh, where the fuck is the phone in this place? I don't think he has a phone. Um, it's like a... No, there's no phone. No, that's old sim. You have to go to... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot they have All cell phones right. over now. by That's their right. portrait. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kill me. Uh, okay, and we're going to go for astronaut because we want to be a smuggler. All right, we're gonna smuggle rum. I I'm guessing. <laughs> sure. I really like some rum. Like, I want the 151. Like, where do we have to go to smuggle that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I ordered some books, and so they should be getting in the mail. So this way I have something to do to pass the time while I'm waiting for this lady to show that she's pregnant. You I ordered should... books? Yeah. You could order books from the bookshelf? Yeah, you just put uh, purchase books, and poof, there you go. Oh my god, I thought you had to be in front of a computer, dude. Well, it's, it shows you how much I play The Sim. Sad, but <laughs> true. I really don't play them that much either. So I guess you and I are just going to be learning as we go. I guess so. I have to say these sims are annoying me already because they're doing selfies and selfies are annoying to me. <laughs> What's selfie? That's when selfie? you That's when you take a picture of yourself with your phone. It's called a selfie? Yes. I didn't know that. I thought it meant like a selfish person and like Aeropostale had a shirt called selfie on it. And I bought it for my kid because I was like, well, you're kind of selfish. So like, I bought <laughs> her the, that shirt and I was like, here, this is so totally you. And she's like, oh, it is. And I had no idea that's what it actually meant. Who wanted me? <laughs> it's funny because um, they also have something called a selfie stick. And the, <laughs> I, I freaking hate selfie sticks too. People are going to be hating me. But um, the selfie sticks is like you put the phone at the end of the stick and this way you can take the quote perfect selfie. Uh, so this way you don't have your your hand in the shot, whatever the hell. And it's funny because now um, museums are going to be banning the selfie sticks because they're afraid it's going to be, you know, messing with the, the artifacts and shit. Because I can't, apparently they've been having incidents with that. Wait, wait, wait. What's a selfie stick? A selfie... I don't understand what that is. Is that like a Twinkie or something? Or like, <laughs> I, I don't care. A selfie stick is a stick that you put your cell phone on so this way you can take the perfect selfie. Are you serious? Like, I, really? I shit you not. This is a real thing. Oh my god. That is pretty good. Did they terrible. already do it? I told her to do it. Oh my god. How many times do I have to tell him to go and try for a baby? Stop <laughs> reading. I'm about to try it again. Well, just click on the toilet. If it doesn't say take pregnancy test, she isn't pregnant. And oh. then you have to make her do it again. It does say uh, take pregnancy test. All right. All right, she's knocked up. Woohoo! Success. We've got the first child on the way. This is so stupid. Okay. All right, so um, I guess that ends this one. At least we got the first uh, baby, hopefully, on the way. Um, it's not much of a house, but, I mean, it's just meant for a challenge anyways. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you'll continue watching and see how well this goes. And, as always, 
Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care, everyone.